you can probably take over this one, but <laughs> it was announced today, Joe, that I guess Rogue Squadron is alive and Patty Jenkins is still like on, you know, on the project. So what's up with that, man? What the heck? Yeah, yeah. So it, it comes really from Patty Jenkins herself, truly. Uh, you know, she basically said, hey, I, you know, it is true. Wonder Woman 3 fell apart. It's not happening. She was on a podcast talking pictures. And uh, she's quote, you know, we all know James Gunn coming in, clean slate. Wonder Woman 3 is not happening. I know Gal Gadot went in front of the camera and said, oh, it's still happening. I, I was very clear on the podcast saying, like, no disrespect to Gal, nothing against her or anything like that. It sounded like somebody who was just not in the know of what was going on that moment. The timing was a little off. <clears throat> Maybe her PR had spoken to her before James did. Um, she didn't even know who Superman was casted as, and it was already chosen. Like it was very obvious that you know, it was a little out of the know there. But but yeah, Patty is it makes it clear on this podcast. Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing Wonder Woman three. So with that, I've got time, and so I'm going back to Star Wars, and I owe Lucasfilm a draft. Now, having a draft coming out does not mean the movie's coming out. I want to make that very clear. She was signed on. They made the announcement publicly. That was very – that's very Kathleen Kennedy. That's very, like, <laughs> you know, forerunning. Let's just get this yeah. out there and get people hyped to try to save my, my, my public, you know, image here. By doing this and say, look, the great, you know, person who, who worked on Wonder Woman is now joining us, right, at that time. And, um, but like with Marvel, not that's never happened, but like it's the same Disney brand, essentially. There's a lot of people who have drafts that right now are due to Marvel. It doesn't mean they're actually making the project yet. Right. And even Bob Iger has alluded to it himself when he talked about it in last week's interview that that we referenced a little bit. But like he's like, there are multiple projects specifically between like Star Wars and Marvel that they have had to kill off because of it not being profitable or not seeming to be profitable. And many people start suspecting like, what are these projects he's talking about? Is this Blade? Is it this? Whatever. All these different things. Like what were things that were killed because of finances that that were actually in the midst of being in production? Like what, what form right. that is, pre-production, whatever that is, was were projects that got killed. Um, I'm not saying this project's dead. I'm not saying this project's not coming out. I'm just saying that, like, just because she has a draft that's due, she now has time as she's telling basically this podcast, like, hey, I was working on this project. I'm shifting gear to this. She does owe them something. Lucasfilm's probably playing nice with her contract of saying, yep, you can get to it now. But that does not mean it's absolutely coming out still. Do I still think it should come out? If it's a good script, yeah. If it's a good draft, yeah. Make the project. That's my mindset. Uh, I do not feel as fond of her writing just from the Wonder Woman side of things that I've watched. I She's done many other projects, and I'm not going to pretend that I'm well-versed on all of those. I'm only judging based on the Wonder Woman side of stuff. Has, has she done anything after uh, Wonder Woman? Or? She's done other stuff. stuff. I, think, I know she did something with Game of Thrones before. She's done like a bunch of different things. But, yeah, it's a good question. After Wonder Woman, I'm not too sure. Uh, uh, but... The one thing that's important to note is Wonder Woman, the first one, which I really enjoyed. I still think the first Wonder Woman is something very special. It's great. Where the second one was disappointing because I think of how awesome the first one is. But, um, like, with the first one, what many people didn't realize is, like, a Patty Jenkins film. Yes, but guess who worked on that script? Zack Snyder. That was a, Zach, a story, but it's literally in the in the the, the trailer in the trailer in right. the and post credits and credits they're saying you know story by Zack Snyder. Um, I I feel like for her, if someone else did some of the story treatment or worked in tandem with her, I might be a little more excited on the surface. That does not mean on her own she can't do it. I'm not saying that. I'm just basing on what I've seen before, the what I did like, what I did like, which the second one I know she did her own full treatment on. And I, there's not much about it that I really um, was happy with because I felt it could have gone a very different way. But, yeah, yeah. that's my reaction. What's your thoughts? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm just double-checking. Uh, nothing after after okay. uh, 1984. <laughs> so uh, that's concerning, <laughs> if you ask me, right? Uh, it, you know, it, uh, she, she was a, a hot commodity there for a second, and then I, that movie came out, dude, and like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what happened, man. Well, 
Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I would have, I would have liked seeing this, this project, right? Um, if you, if you, did you ever play that, uh, um, squadrons game? No, there's squadrons. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I played yeah. squadrons. Yeah. I played yeah. Them. So like, like if you do something like that, right. Where you have your, your squadrons and you're going to out and do your missions or like battlefront two, kind of like what the, you know, the, uh, uh, the story mode for Battlefront 2 yeah. was where you have your squad doing the thing, right? That could be that could be cool, right? And you can split it into like you know you can have a you know a, a, a you know a really good like opening sequence like like space battle sequence, right? And then you ground it for a little bit, and then at the end you have your big like set piece like battle, and you know if if I, you I want, ah, go ahead. I want. Top Gun Maverick for Rogue Squadron. In space, yeah. I'm not Top saying that space. you have to repeat the same thing, but if you could take something like that where it's like we are training for this ultimate battle and somehow ties into something where like that's much bigger in Star Wars, right? Like, oh snap, that would be that'd be sick. Yeah, exactly. That's the and that's what you need to do. It's like because yeah. you can set the you can set the movie like, um, like right at, like in between like Empire and and or or you know. Uh, a new hope and empire right it's like oh yeah this the rogue one they gave our they, you know they gave their lives to get the plants out so in their honor we're making the squadron and now, and now we're going to train because we're going to be like a elite squadron and whatnot right yeah totally top gun in space do you need right. yeah you nailed it that, that's that's perfect right and even with maverick right because maverick is the same thing right. it starts with a, a it, it starts with a with a small thing and then it ends with a big like like uh you know, set piece thing, and then you ground it again for a little bit, and then you end. You know, yeah, yeah, totally. That's what you need to do, right? Uh, problem is that you gotta you gotta be able to write these characters, yeah. Uh, and you you can't like take like a Top Gun and reach a hatchet into Star Wars in in and do and do the Star Wars thing on it. The guy has to be special. It has to be unique. Like these characters need to be unique. They gotta be diverse. They got and when I mean diverse is like it's Star Wars, right? So you you know you got your alien dude and and your and your twilic and you know pilot and like right you gotta you gotta diversify or bring this character I mean, in this this other interesting races in it too yeah. so you can make it interesting and fun and new and uh you know different so totally. yeah yeah and i mean it could, it could be a good a great idea it's just that they need to like really um work on 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 those characters and the writing like if that's right yeah. you know right and it's like and i i I trust ILM with with their special effects, so that's I have no question there that that's gonna be that's gonna be great. Uh, the problem is that you gotta you gotta go back to the writing and you gotta make these characters good. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I mean, it could be it could be a good a good thing. Could like, be. We'll, we'll we'll see. Um, yeah, but I guess it, it is like officially like back on track. So it's gonna be it's gonna be real interesting. 